What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are going to do a what I'm going to be wearing for this spring video. I haven't done a styling video in quite some time for you guys just because in all honesty, it takes a lot of energy for me to film these videos switching in and out of clothes. Might seem easy for you guys on camera because you guys see a 10 to 20 minute video. I'm in really good spirits today because I have a bunch of emerging brands that are on the come up for this haul. So I decided to switch the pace a little bit and do it like me discussing what I picked up and how I would piece it together with some pieces that you guys have seen in previous pickups just to like style it in its entirety. But the majority of the pieces that I'm going to be wearing in this video were acquired recently from emerging brands. So it's going to be a slight what I'm going to be wearing for this spring mixed with a little bit of a pickup. So a bond of the to the link up we all been waiting for. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into this video. Before we get into all of that, of course, the shameless plugging, make sure to go follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's what you can check out on there. Also, like this video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, and we're gonna get straight into this video. So, the first piece that I have is this Science Project flannel. So, huge thanks to Science Project for supplying a whole lot of pieces for this video and by far my favorite piece that they sent me was this flannel if you guys don't know for spring i love to get back into like light layering light layering is like the key for all outfits my favorite seasons are spring and fall just because you're able to light layer uh jackets are great and all but sometimes you're using them for necessity as opposed to for style <laughs> You know what I mean? So flannels is a big part of that in my personal opinion. I love the way that this one fits me. It's cropped, so it really does my torso justice, I personally find. So I'm a huge fan of that. Of course, the motif is amazing in itself. Very simple, but of course, very wearable. At the same time, people are kind of scared of flannels at times because sometimes they get trendy, sometimes they don't. They're in and out of trend very often, but I think it's a staple item. I always see people wearing flannels. I don't think it's going to go anywhere to be honest um so yeah i just feel like this is a very wearable fit like anyone could wear this and it could be deemed stylish or just very casual so i like it personally and people don't really like mixing patterns but i think that adds to the the stylish element to it if you're able to mix patterns and make it look kind of composed and put together then you're able to really get it cracking so we're going to start at the top with this pangaea beanie i wear this all the time it's made out of cashmere recycled cashmere i'm huge into sustainability of course so you guys can see that on the dome piece right there science project flannel like i said before science project tee that they just sent me as well nice little embroidered chest hit right there you guys can check out everything about science project in the links in the description box below of course there's those are always there to help you guys out when you're looking for anything so make sure to go check them out if you haven't already and below we just have these real tree sweatpants i got these a long time ago um i just thrifted them i believe when i went to quebec city with megs uh, I just like them just because they remind me of like Balenci or that mod because of how oversized they are. They're supposed to be like a size like 38 or 36. That's why they're so large on me. They literally hit me way below my actual waist, but I think that kind of adds to it and the whole silhouette of the outfit's got like cropped and tighter on the torso, but bag your bottoms. I love that silhouette on me personally. And I just kept the casual with Birkenstocks, just the Boston's regular super super regular nothing crazy and i'm doing it with no socks because it's not really needed uh but if i was going out i might hit them with some socks so this is the fit in its entirety i'll give you guys a little spin and we're gonna go on to the next one obviously same jewelry this is just a jbw watch chrome ring chrome necklace and we're gonna go to the next fit Alrighty, so now we have a little bit of a darker fit. This is something I've been wearing a whole lot in winter. I love a good long trench coat and this is one that I thrifted and I'll be able to get into that a little bit later on in another video. I'm going to be doing a separate vintage haul for you guys. So make sure to hit the like button if you guys are excited to see that one. Haven't done a vintage video in a very long time and I've noticed that. So all the vintage boys, I'm going to hit you guys with a video very, very shortly. I'm sorry that I've been gone, but I'm gonna come back strong okay bars <laughs> okay on to the other parts of this outfit this is just a long black trench coat as i said i'll get more into it in another video but the next piece 
up with that is this science project gray hoodie i think it's really sick the color blocking is really dope i'm just gonna put this to the side right now just so you could see it a bit better so this is how it looks like on me it has that like different color paneling and blocking on the top i probably would just keep it on because i really enjoy the hood and how large it is and then also that same color blocking goes all the way to the back i love how unique the cut is it goes it kind of like swoops up looks like the atari logo if you guys are into that um so yeah i'm gonna swing this back on so you can see the full fit once again but yes science project hoodie super cool cut to the whole piece and also this science project pair of frayed denim i don't know if you guys will be able to see all that but hopefully you could so it has like this frayed panel on the side on the thigh and it goes all the way down the inseam as well as you know what just for details sake, I'm gonna put that there. And then so that I, I can show you guys the silhouette of the pants with the shoe as best as I can. I'm gonna hit it with this. So as this like frayed panel all the way on the inseam going down, then it goes all the way down to my Rick Owens tractor boots. These are huge clonkers. If you guys are into purchasing them, I would say that they are enormous enormous boots so like if you guys are into that they're great but honestly they're like a little bit intrusive at times i wore them in a car ride and we we're going for a long distance recently and honestly like i kind of uh matted the toe a little bit because of how bulbous it is so like the rub the the friction on the leather kind of like created a little bit of like discoloration but that's neither here nor there they look great they add to to a all black silhouette quite nicely so this is a little variation of something that i would wear in the springtime as opposed to the winter where i've been like layering a leather trench with like a darker more heavy set hoodie and like heat tech this is just like i'd wear like a tank top or a white tee or a black tee whatever something very thin with a lighter mid-weight hoodie and then a trench coat of sorts that's a bit more mid-weight as well and you have a great outfit. On to the next one. We are here with the next outfit. So this one's a little like gorpy mountain core type of vibe. I feel like a, a general, you know, a little general vibe too. Cobra Commander, call me General Kai, Sergeant Kai, whatever you want to call me. I'm here, I'm in full effect and I'm put together with it so we're gonna start at the top we have this comma wear beanie some people don't like this i like it if i find it looks like a little weird odd take on a beanie it's actually not a beanie it's a balaclava of sorts or a hood if you want to call it don't know why i said beanie before but you could just go straight balaclava beanie if you want that's your energy but my hair's a little long so it looks kind of weird with this fit but i do like it with it just rolled up like these okay so there you go got the beanie back on and we're gonna move further down to the chest we have the louis vuitton knit gilet from virgil abloh rest in peace to virgil oh my god what happened to virgil we have the travis tadeo thin long sleeve shirt that is distressed oh so drastically we have it all along here kind of looks like a spider web at this point i've had this shirt since about 2015 and it's only gotten better with age more and more distressing as the years go on kind of see it bit by bit i think i have one on my elbow somewhere yeah this just happened i didn't even notice it but it looks better with age it looks so nice and this just goes to show that i had something from 2015 mixed with something i just got a couple weeks ago on my body and it looks timeless everything kind of mixes in very well and with that being said we could talk about these science project cargo pants i love these pants they are in such a nice shade of green i'm a really big fan of them and they give me big army energy you know what i mean but i of course like made it a bit more gorpy like i said tactical vibes have this cargo pocket right here put whatever you want in it uh I like that it's like a 3d pocket and it goes out pretty wide very dramatic of course as i love to say drama drama in the fits is always a good vibe you know what i mean so we are big fans of that over on the channel so that is that with the pockets and moving down to the bottom we have let me see if i can catch it on camera we have these salomon oh 
Salomon Snow clogs in suede. So I haven't really talked about these too much. I will get into more detail about them in an up and coming pickups video, of course, so that you guys can get more in tune about those. But they're from way back. If you guys want to look on the internet and try and find them, you're more than welcome to. But yeah, I just found them, love them. I'm a huge fan of Salomon and I was just diving back into like some vintage Gorp core and I stumbled across these. These are amazing. They look great with the whole Gorpy-esque outfit, I believe. I think the tones are really nice. Good little like beef and broccoli type of color palette. And yeah, I think the proportions are great too. Kind of following suit of the first outfit. Tight upper, baggier pants or bottoms. Um, and yeah, it just looks great on me. I personally love these type of proportions. I don't know why I just did the TikTok girl kick, but we're out of here on that note. <laughs> So before I get into this last outfit of the video, I just want to give a huge special thanks to the two main providers of clothing of this video, if that sentence even made sense to begin with. Shout out to Science Project. They supplied a good amount of the clothing in the first part of this video, so I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them. Make sure to go check them out. Of course, all of the links and everything will be in the description box below. They gave me a little nice note. Of course, shout out to them. Thank you so much. And of course, the last little bits that I'm gonna be wearing from this video are from Simply Complicated. Shout out to them, to the boy for hooking it up. Of course, he was kind enough to give me a pair of mules and as well, blessed my artist Skyfall with a care package. So I'm gonna wait until he gets back from LA to give him his goods, but that's neither here nor there. He gave me the mules and the pants. So this is a little spin off of an outfit of two outfits that I put on IG. So one that I did with this little knit and then another one that I had with similar tones because I wore the Jacob, who is Jacob, Jacob jacket um, that had similar notes to this. So like I took inspo from both because I have a pair of Balenciaga Dada that's just as wide as these different in many different ways but overall same same premise which is just wide baggy blue denim um so i took inspo from both of them and i drafted up this fit it's very like collegiate japanese uh professor type of vibe got the mules poking out you could see how it's like slightly cropped these pants like just a slight little bit so you're able to see the uh, portion between the sock and the mule cut out at the bottom. These are like a nice brown suede mule, so it just looks very effortless and chic. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you a little bit more details of the mule. Really dope, love the suede. These are super tight. I love the way that he put these together. They're a little bit big, so if I was looking at getting these, I would size down if anything. I'm a true like 10 and a half, 11, I would like go a size down, whichever. I don't know if they do full sizes or half sizes, you'll have to check that out yourself. But yes, so going to these pants, these are simply complicated wide denim as i don't know if i said before but yes a great alternative to the balenciaga wide cut denim that i was talking about in a couple videos ago a lot of people were looking for alternatives i feel like this is the best option because of course uh fast fashion does make options but i don't like recommending fast fashion because it's not something that i personally support too often so i'd rather recommend you guys a smaller emerging brand to support which is simply complicated so go check them out for any wide cut blue denim a good alternative to that Balenciaga one that I got not too long ago. And further up, we have this Vujade knit sweater. This is made so well. Good hefty weight, not too heavy. It's like a great in between middle weight and heavy weight. So it's like that great little balance right there. You don't get too, too hot wearing this. Like I have a really strong heated light and I'm not sweating at all. I'm like pretty calm. And I, I love the way it looks. It gives a great smart vibe to certain outfits and if you like pair this with like a little button up under you instantly look so smart and casual at the same time yeah i would wear this to like a date or anything like that and just be super solid great springtime outfit idea for a little date if you're trying to get sweet sweet amount of tin. so that is about it for this video i really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel once again huge thank you to sign project for this video sorry i'm running out of my words because i am out of breath <laughs> And also, 
huge shout out to Simply Complicated as well for sending over some product for this video and helping me out with the garms. You always have to supply some garms for videos like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the outfits. If so, let me know which one was your favorite down below out of the four that I cooked up for you guys. And I will be making more of these in the future. Of course, I love making styling videos. I know I was chirping it a bit in the beginning, but after it's all said and done, I really like seeing what I could create with the pieces that come my way on this channel. So if you guys would like to see more or like some type of like themed ones or other things of that nature, let me know in the comments below. I would love to make it for you guys. And with all that being said, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. So where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.